Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you with Sunday Sauce, a reading for the collective. So listen, guys, you know the deal. Please only claim the reading from your higher self and for your higher good and only if it truly resonates. If it doesn't fit and it's not helpful, do not claim it, okay? Don't force it. Whoever you are, wherever you are out on the planet, thank you very much for taking the valuable time out of your day to join us. We see you and acknowledge you and we appreciate and love you. All right, let's hit this. Clear and ground for Sunday sauce, please. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Scented Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Sunday's Source. Guys, we're working with energy. It's fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Sunday sauce. Please and thank you, ancestors. You got a page of cups. Some kind of good news or a message. This could be coming from a younger person. You could be this younger person. This is very innocent, sensitive, uh, yeah, perhaps naive energy. Some of you could even be dealing with your inner child here. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, energy, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Ace of Cups. Look, somebody's coming in to make an offer, and they're going to do it so sweetly and innocently. That's beautiful. Or you're going out to make an offer. Here it is. Ace of Cups, a new emotional awakening. This could be with somebody who is a little younger, perhaps, but very, very kind. It's, it's an honest-to-goodness offer, okay? This person is very romantic. Perhaps a little naive, but they're going to be very creative as well. Something about a lily pad, a frog's lily pad. Okay. Somebody here, two of wands. Somebody here decided to take a path. Left, right, blue pill, red pill, up, down, whatever it is. They made a decision. They decided to come out of a comfort zone and down the path they're going. And I believe it's a decision that they made to make this offer. Okay. Somebody decided whether or not they were going to make the offer. It looks like they're going to, the offer's coming in. Tell me what else is going on here. Please and thank you. Crowning you, look what you have, the lovers. All right, so somebody's coming to make this offer. They made the decision to do it. Here they come very innocently. It's a new opportunity for real love, not just like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, sex. That would be wands. This is emotions, okay? This person has emotions. And it's the lover lovers, okay? This is what it is. Gemini energy, it's a soulmate, it's a partnership, it's kindred spirits, it's a major choice. It doesn't matter the differences between the two of you, you are the same. You could have had past life relationships. Show me. Some coming in, somebody got stuck up in their head here. There could be worry, there could be fear here, anxiety making a problem before, you know, for every solution here. Somebody feels like maybe their back is up against the wall or their hands are tied or trapped in a situation. It's just fear. Somebody's fearing the unknown. Someone fears love here. What the hell is going on? The 8th could be of significance or August. Somebody could be 62 here. 62. Or 8 again. 888. 888 megahertz. 888 hertz. We're removing all the negativity. Somebody's got some kind of lost sadness or regret here. Somebody's crying me a river, Justin Timberlake. Cry me a river, why? Because they're busy concentrating on these stupid three cups when they have two cups behind them. In the meantime, this person has regret. You want to know what this person should be regretful? Because I'm going to tell you. You want to know what the biggest disappointment in this whole thing is that's causing me grief? This ugly Nosferatu Dracula cape on a beautiful day. Take the cape off. I'm dying to see the cute little outfit that you might have underneath there. Pick up the two cups behind you and look what you have going on over here across the bridge. Cross the bridge. Metaphorically. You understand what I'm saying? And here's the thing. A smart person is going to take off that ugly fucking cape. I don't know what anybody's doing with this cape on in the middle of the day. Look, right? And put all the cups in it. They look like gold goblets. You could go over the bridge. Yeah, over the bridge to grandma's house. <laughs> and you could rinse these cups out. And you could have a party. You could invite four more people over. All right? Yeah. And if you don't want to do that, you can sell them on eBay. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Go for it. What the hell are you doing? Show me what's going on here. So somebody's got some kind of loss of regret that they feel like their hands are tied or trapped in a situation. Yeah, somebody needs to be strong in the actual environment. There's Leo energy. So most predominantly you have Leo and, uh, yeah, and Gemini here. This is about self-resilience, self-confidence, overcoming any self-doubt, uh, you know, bravery, resilience, self-control. Again, another eight. 
Eight, it's a very significant here. We're getting rid of the negativity. I feel like I'm pushing it for you. Show me what uh, the advice of spirit is here. The advice of spirit, somebody's watching somebody. We got the spy craft card. Somebody's trying to gather some information. So let's give them something to talk about. Yeah, give them something to talk about. Somebody wants to watch, give them something to watch. Show them how it's done, right? Anyway, whatever kind of information this person is trying to gather, it's going to be different for everybody. Don't even bother trying to figure out who or why or what they want. Let them go scratch their asses. Because whatever information they're getting, what are they going to do with it anyway? All right? They're just being nosy. They, whatever they do, it doesn't matter, right? They're irrelevant is what the point is. So, you know, if this is you being nosy, stop it. Concentrate on what you're doing. You know. And if it's not you, somebody's up your ass with a microscope. Yeah. Trying to figure out the flavor of your Kool-Aid, right? <laughs> All up in your Kool-Aid. Show me what's going on here. So the most likely outcome is... Okay, someone's still, look at this. My cards are in the upright, we know that. We know how I revere my cards, right? Death in reverse. Somebody's delaying the inevitable. Somebody has some kind of inability to move forward or they have some kind of fear of a new beginning. This is why they're only watching, okay? This is why they're only watching. Why? Because they can't put any action in. This is why there's regret. And maybe they feel like their hands are tied because they fear some kind of new beginning, some kind of change. They're stagnant. They're stagnantly standing there watching, okay? They need strength. Somebody needs to be strong here to make this offer. This is what? Maybe they feel like they're going to, you know, there's some, I don't know what's going on here, okay? I feel like somebody's got some kind of regret or sorrow because their hands might be tied in a situation. Maybe they can't move forward. Somebody needs to be strong. Somebody's watching. I don't know what goes on here. But there's love. This is real love, okay? The bottom of the deck, rapid forward movement. So somebody might get up off their ass here, okay, and make a decision to move forward. Somebody here is standing their ground. Somebody can be resilient. Somebody here might be really self-protective. See what I'm saying? That's why maybe they're afraid to transition here. Because this is what? They're afraid of the transition. You coward, whoever you are out there. The whole point of life is change. That's the one constant. We are... Oh. God. Spiritual beings in, you know, physical form here to experience all the changes. So when we go back to wherever we came from, we can tell everybody, oh, this is what the, you know, the vacation was like. You know what I'm saying? Good, bad, or indifferent. Anyway, somebody's very self-protective and they might feel like there's a lot of competition in the situation. They might feel like, you know, maybe somebody, yes. And this is why they're just watching because but in the meantime, look what you have. This star, Aquarius energy. Okay, 17th could be of significance or 8 again. Telling you, eights are significant. Start seeing eights across the board. That's your um, confirmation that this is your reading. If you start seeing, you know, numbers, consecutive numbers, particularly eight. Listen, this is something you're manifesting. Somebody's coming in, okay? They are. They're, they're, somebody's de deliberately creating. Someone's also very connected to source here. See that? This is a wish coming true. It's healing. It's hope for your future. Look, some of you might even wind up getting married, okay? Somebody's going to definitely balance themselves out and take control of the situation. We got this going on, okay? Now, what are we throwing down here? I don't even know. Let's get a couple of these, I guess. Try to mix it up a little. Here we go. Now, I'm not going to look at them because I, yeah. I like to be just as surprised as you are. Somebody needs to raise their vibration and get out of this dark cape. That's like the whole vibe, right? It's a whole dark vibe. Somebody's, ooh, booty call. Somebody's doing a booty call. Watch that. Here we go. I'm <laughs> getting late. Can I? You can't make it up. And you see this? Other than this one, that's why. Okay. Astrological signs. They're all, they're, they're, you know, in reverse. I don't see them. Okay. Here. Yeah. Somebody's name is Bill. Don't mess with Bill. What color are we going to get blue? Okay. Here we go. Somebody is blank. Here. Hold on. Let's get one up this way. Attending a barbecue. And at the barbecue, they're going to go in the bathroom and get laid. They're gonna, it's going to be a booty call. Somebody's in South Africa. Shout out, South Africa. Somebody here, just ask. Just ask this person. They're going to they're gonna go in the bathroom with you. Just ask them. They're making eyes at you across the room. It's going to be a quick booty call. Somebody's going to... Yeah. They might send you a bill. <laughs> they might. Okay. Everyone is not your friend. Remember that. I don't care if they smile on your face. Edinburgh. So now we have South Africa and Edinburgh. I love it. Shout out to you guys all over. All over wherever you are. All right? Mexico even. Yeah. Let's go. Somebody here has ulterior motives. And it could be to just have a booty call to get laid, all right? Or to charge somebody for something. <laughs> could be. Here, midlife crisis. That's why maybe they're out getting booty calls, right? Somebody could be going through a midlife crisis. What else do we have? Here we go. Somebody here. With, wow, there's a lot of blanks. All right, this is going to be the last one. Over-consuming energy drinks. Yes, stop that. You're going to have a freaking heart attack. You also have here. Let's see. Let's get a yellow one. Anastasia could be somebody's name, all right? 
So that's the end. At the bottom of the deck, somebody is an empath here. A functioning one. And there's blanks again. There we go. Oh, listen. Let me get you some letters and then we'll let you go. By the way, thank you for joining us for Sunday Sauce. Mm -mm. We love you. We appreciate you hitting the like and subscribe. Let's get some letters out of the bottom here. Whatever. Something's about to take off rapid forward movement here. You're going to be fine. I really feel like it's your love life. I'm hearing Peter. Peter. Pate. Some, or not like patty. Like pate. Like pate. Like that. Like ground meat of some sort. Of, yeah. Somebody could be eating oxtails. Um, or ox. Some of Tex. Tex-Mex. tex -sis. Texaco, I'm hearing. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, so we have two E's. We have three E's. We have two I's, two O's, and a U, and a blank. You have two T's, an X. You have three T's, P, X, and an A. So there you go, guys. We love you. Always remember, leave the logic and integrity, act with kindness and love. Let things go. Here is your enemy and trust in God. Karma is real. Until next time, love and light.